Hi everyone. Uh, Sunday, we are going to be commemorating, recognizing Tisha B'Av, which in our Misora is the date on which the uh, both uh, temples, Batim Mikdash, were destroyed. And um, although this year we push it off one day, it is the day that we recognize it. And it's important uh, to remember uh, many things on that day, but this is one that I would, I would suggest that we can keep in mind. One of them is there is a midrash that says that when uh, the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, there was a bat kol, right? There is this kind of voice that came out of the heavens. And however it is that we understand that, right? There's somehow there's a message that's being broadcast, you know, for those who are sensitive enough to pick it up, saying to the enemy, Kemach tahina tahint, which means that you uh, have ground down already ground flour. And that is another way of saying that whatever it is that you think you destroyed was already pretty much destroyed by the time that you got there. And those indications are very harsh because what it means is that the, Jew, the Jews had already allowed for the deterioration to reach uh, dire levels. And, um, and what that means is that we had reduced ourselves we had allowed for ourselves to deteriorate and lost our luster and strength as a people. And so we were very open for an enemy to come in and take us down. But basically what God was saying to us was, and to them, is that if I were not pushed out of that place, I mean, God was not pushed out of that place, if the people were strong and whole in themselves and were able to hold their whole identity uh, fully and powerfully, you would have no access to them. Right, to, the, to the enemy. And that is something that I think is very important for us to remember, that one of the things that we recognize on Tisha B'Av is what is missing from us. What do we as a people not hold or uh, not retain? What do we not have with us? And what is important for us to be able to have as a people in order to be able to be strong? One of the best ways to be able to respond to the world outside, and certainly to anti-Semitism, is not just to fight anti-Semitism, but to be the best that we can be as a people. And it's important for us to question, how is it that we can be our best? And what is it that we are missing? So on Tisha B'Av, we pause, we sit on the floor, we allow a certain level of deprivation so that we don't get distracted, and we think about what is it that the Jewish people are missing? And what is it that the Jewish people require in order to be able to be their best, right? To be at the top of their game. And what can we do in order to be able to bring it there? What are we able to do in order to be able to bring it there? And you know what that might be in some very local levels? It could just be deciding to attend synagogue more often. It could be that we decide to study more. It could be that we recognize that we have 3,000 years of history on our shoulders and that that is not a burden but a crown and that we are able that we choose to recognize that as part of our own identity and to integrate that into our identity it makes us stronger as a people when we can do things like that and when we are stronger as individuals the people is stronger and we can live our best manifestation uh, as a people on this earth. And so I wish everyone an easy and meaningful fast and, uh, and may we see blessing in, the, in what we do.